What's going on, you guys? Scott here, middle of the night, out in the uh, National Forest of Colorado, playing with a new piece of gear that I got from Loft Tech. It's a cool little lantern, guys. It's a solar lantern, so it's uh, powered by solar, no batteries, other than the battery inside of it. And it's remote controlled, so check this out. Anyway, that goes high, medium, low, and back to high. So, again, guys, really cool lantern. I've been playing with this a lot. Think how nice it is at night. You're laying in your tent. You're down, ready to go to bed, but you got to turn the light out or at least dim it. And just to lay in the tent and do it from here. Let me get the lantern down, guys. I'm going to show you what this thing looks like. I'll put some other lighting up in the meantime so we can take a look at this, and I'll be right back. Here's the lantern, guys, and I'm using a piece of paracord to hang this right now in the tent. It did come with a little hanging kit with wire, even some wall anchors if you want to mount this thing indoors. I just forgot to bring it. I left it at home, so I'm using some paracord. This lantern, guys, it retails for about $49, I think 50 bucks. Uh, you can find it on sale for around $39, and I will have a link in the description below, you guys, to, to take a look at it if you want it. It's a cool little piece of gear. I um, Here, I'll show you how it hooks up to the solar panel in a second, but take a look. We've got the little remote, different, and that's really all it does, guys. I'll show you close up here in a second how to work this thing, but there's an on-off button and a remote. And not a lot else, really. Um, specs here, when I look on the back of the box, it is rated at 3 watts. It is indoor and outdoor, remote control, high brightness, 160 LEDs, and IP65. IP65 rated, I think, means it's, it's good for water resistance, waterproof, but not jetted water. The solar panel has a very long cord let me see how long it is i think it's four meters long what does it say it doesn't say but i think it's a four meter long cord but it's a long cord and it's got a little plug here with a receptacle that goes into the lantern so these plug together and then it's got a little screw down to tighten it and now your panel solar panel are connected to the light so the way I've been using it, guys, is having that solar panel outside with the wire running in here to the lantern so it could charge during the day. And then at nighttime, what's cool is when the sun goes down and this stops getting sunlight, the lamp turns on automatically. So at nighttime, it'll turn on automatically, and then you can come and turn it off if you need to with the remote. That is really all I have on the device. So let me uh, do a little close-up. I'll walk you through the buttons, show you what the remote looks like, the actual device, and we'll close it out. The lamp does come with a hanging kit for the lamp and a bracket to mount that solar panel kind of permanently if you'd like. I'm using this for camping, but I could also see it used in a shed or a building where you needed light, but we're maybe off-grid. The big thing I liked about this was the remote control. It's got a wireless remote to control the light. We'll look at that here in just a second. And other than the panel, you've got the lantern itself. Now, the lantern does have a plug that goes into the uh, cord from the solar panel. And other than that, it's got one button. That button is on. Now, you can click through the modes with the button. Low, medium, high, etc. on, off. But really, you want to try the remote. So you've got off, on, high. Oops, it was already on high, so I shouldn't have done that. High, medium, low, and back to off. So let me turn it on. One other feature, guys, is with this solar panel, if it senses light, so let me hold it up to some light, watch what happens. Lamp goes off. No light, lamp is on. Light, lamp is off. So what you're seeing there, guys, is it has an auto on and off uh, function so that at daytime, it's going to charge without using the light or the battery. 
And then at nighttime when you need it, it'll automatically turn on. Cool piece of gear, not bad. I've enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun playing with it, guys. So if you're interested in this, by all means, take a look in the description. Loft Tech, thank you very much for the, uh, the equipment. Had fun playing with it. Guys, take it easy out there. Stay safe. Bye. I'm just stuck here in a dream. Long, long, long. I'm just stuck here in a dream.